Okay, good morning. It's Saturday now, uh, May 17th, and we're going to do a first flight of the helicopter minus the camera mount and minus the nav board and GPS. So this is just a test to make sure everything's running the way it's supposed to, that there's compatibility between the speed controllers and the motors. And uh, once this is done, we'll put the GPS board on, you know, the Navi, the GPS. We'll fly it again, make sure that stuff is working. And um, we'll do a couple of flights with that stuff. Uh, kind of flog it a little bit, make sure nothing's going to uh, fail. And then we'll put the camera mount on tomorrow afternoon sometime. All right. Okay, so we're going to first uh, initialize the gyros, which is forwards, the left stick forward and to the left corner, and uh, that just initializes, it's, it's either uh, the accelerometers or the gyros, but um, it's a necessary step before you can start the motors, and we've had rain for the last couple days, so the backyard looks like a Amazon jungle. So. Forgive me for that. I've been a little busy this week. <laughs> okay, so here we go. All right, so this is a good first flight. The calibration steps that are done on the bench to get the flight control level appear to have been pretty accurate because the helicopter is just sitting in one spot. There's no wobbling. No alarms coming from the little speaker. I was a little concerned with the new motor controllers and the, the low KV uh, pancake style motors, but you can hear they're very smooth, lots of control. trying to make it. If it's going to lose sync, I'm trying to do it now. Alright, so it looks like we're good. There's no wind right now, so it's not drifting. That means the flight control is happy where it thinks uh, level is, happens to correspond where the helicopter thinks level is. So it's, there's no tendency to drift. The flight control isn't trying to move the helicopter around to make itself feel like it's level. No grinding sounds from the motors, and the motors are actually set up with the dynamic motor control, which I believe means there's a little bit of uh, freewheeling going on to save power. I hear a low voltage alarm, but that can't be happening, so I'm going to have to check the settings in MK Tool for that. Alright, so that's it. We're on our way. It's a good helicopter. And this is also flying very nicely considering it's about six pounds underweight. But when the camera mount and the gimbal are on there, or I'm sorry, the camera mount and the camera, that's almost, it's five and a half to six pounds. So a lot of times when the, when the helicopter's bare, it doesn't uh, behave very well. But in this case, it's actually flying very nicely. It's got 15 inch props on there. It's making a ton of lift. And this is all stock settings. Haven't done a, haven't done a single thing of tuning. This is beginner mode, which is what I've always used, and it works great.
All right, that's it. I hope you're able to see that. I hope it was all in the frame. Um, but we'll post that, and we're moving right along. So uh, it's Bart from Multi Rotor Forums. Thanks for watching.